Good morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show, the Monday edition, where as per usual, we have the beautiful pleasure of introducing you to some fantastic artists. Now this week, Tash, we've got some pieces on set that of course will join us from Monday to Friday, but they feature some familiar locations. Mm -hmm. And as much as we're going to be speaking to the artist very shortly, I wonder if you've already found a favorite. Oh, I have, 100%. <laughs> as soon as I walked in, I was like, woo! Yeah. But it's hard to choose a favorite for me. I mean, I love the hummingbird, Same. but I also love the pui. Yes. Oh my gosh, the colors. So for me, Pui always reminds me of around secondary school exams time because oh, wow. that's when Pui would be in blue. Yeah. And my secondary school in Grandi, San Grandi, Northeastern College, had this massive Pui tree in one of the fields in the back. Oh, nice. Between each block, we had bits of grass, and mm -hmm. one of them had a beautiful pink Pui, much like this one. And my biggest regret in life is not taking a picture under the Pui tree. Everybody has pictures under the poetry in school, except, except for me. And so every time I see a poetry, that's what I think of. Secondary oh school and my last nine months in that secondary school. You know, that last year is just yes. about nine months before exams. So I, I'm particularly drawn to the pui and the hummingbird, the vivid and bright colors. There's some neons in there mm -hmm. that I hope we get some details on from our artist this week, John Williams. But I definitely have a favorite already. Definitely. I love, I love the textures. I love this one of the beach as well in particular because... It just really brings that spirit of the beach to life. And honestly, it brings me peace. Mm. And there's nothing better than having some peace first thing in the morning and also that beautiful color. Well, let's see if we can get some insights on that one. As joining us this morning via Zoom is the artist himself, John Williams, along with his mother, Arlene Williams. Good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is so coincidental that we are all Williams with no relations. So I am immediately excited to hear more about the legacy of artist John Williams. I know we are looking at what will be a, a third exhibition coming up. But the pieces that we have this morning, can we get a little insight as to, well, John, from you, why did you start yeah. painting? Why did you start to paint? Let me fill in, because sure. we may have a challenge with getting long answers from John. Fair. John started painting after having experienced what is called a psychotic break in 2015. Mm -hmm. So after he had the psychotic break and was on medication, the medication was extremely debilitating. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking for ways to get him back to himself. I have a friend whose colleague was doing an art sip and paint. We did a sip and paint. John painted by himself. His kiskadi looked like a kiskadi. My kiskadi looked like a pregnant chicken. <laughs> and I thought, hmm, something's going on here. Found a teacher to work with him. And he's been painting through mental illness, through an intellectual disability. He has other medical challenges. And he also has a diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's. So the painting, we're painting alongside all of those things. So what you're seeing there is therapy for John. Mm -hmm. Really, that's what it is. Well, we appreciate John navigating those challenges so beautifully because immediately are, these are... are, are so... like painting? Yeah, say that again so that they can hear you. You like it, huh? I love it. We love yes. it. <laughs> and yeah. it's things that are familiar. So as much as the names do indicate where most of these pieces come from, uh, Yellow Puy in El Dorado, we have a Black Man Ranch in Papara, is it? This is what we were looking yes. at last? Yeah. yeah. We, we, tend to paint, we tend to paint pictures that we've taken or pictures that persons have taken, places that we've gone. So, um, for example, in his exhibition, there's a painting of, of clothes on a line. Mm -hmm. And I, at one time, I wanted to get clothes on a line because you don't see it anymore. So I told right. everybody that I knew that I'm looking for a picture of clothes on a line. And somebody <laughs> gave us a picture of clothes on a line and gave us permission to use it. Beautiful. So it's a, a joint effort between yourself and a number of others to get John's inspirational it's pieces. It's a village. It's yes. a village. It's a village. It's a village. Now, the village can visit because you're telling us that there is that ongoing exhibition or upcoming exhibition. Tell me a little bit as mm -hmm. to where it is, times and locations, so we can be part of that village. 
Okay, so we we open on Saturday the 9th at Studio Julie, which is a new gallery on Henry Pierce Street in Port of Spain. Um, the exhibition runs until the 21st, which is World Down Syndrome Day, right. which is the day that you're going to be wearing your colored socks. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. And we definitely <laughs> will be wearing our socks. But tell me a little bit as to the pieces we can see in the exhibition. Do we have any particular themes that will be followed, Ms. Williams? It's mostly nature. Um, yeah, it's mostly nature, our challenge. He doesn't particularly like painting people, um, yeah. likes painting nature scenes. Some of the pictures he takes himself, some of the pictures I take. And for him, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a one thing. He knows that we've taken a drive, we've taken a picture, we've printed the picture, we're painting the picture. It's a process for him. Mm -hmm. I, I, I paint that, I paint that, that one pair. That hummingbird. Hummingbird. Who, who took the picture of that hummingbird? Me. No. Whose yard we went to, and she takes lots and lots of hummingbirds. Auntie Sherylan. Auntie Sherylan. That's right, Auntie Sherylan. Which one? Auntie Sherylan Blades. Yeah. Yeah. She gave us the picture of the hummingbird. Beautiful. John, do you have a favorite color? Yes. What What's is your favorite color? color? I, do, I do different colors. Different colors. You different don't have colors. Favorite? Yes. Okay. Well, I assume you have a favorite because so many colors are in the pieces we have on set. I thought you might like one more than the other. Any color that you like best? Yes. What color is that? Different color. Different colors. <laughs> and there I'll take go. it. Thank you very much for brightening <laughs> our set this morning, John, with your beautiful artwork. We are going to certainly yeah. see more of it because coming up on the 9th, that exhibition opens. And of course, we will be continuing to check in with you, get more details, and of course, support you on World Down Syndrome Day as things culminate. Now, Ms. Williams, before you leave, could you tell us how we can see more of John's art beyond the exhibition? Is there anywhere else we can find his work? Not yet. Well, yeah. we'll continue to be the space for organized. that. So yes. that John will be with us all week through these beautiful pieces here on set with us on the Now Morning Show. Thank you both so much for joining us and sharing your beautiful talent, John. Bye. Bye. Thank you Bye. for having us. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us, Arlene and John Williams, artist and mother, making sure that our set is beautiful all week long, of course, in conjunction with the... Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago, as always. Guys, it's an our morning show. Just your Monday morning starting off bright and beautifully. We'll come back with the art and more after these messages.